everybody and welcome back to the Handbag Angels YouTube channel or if you are new here hello and thank you very much for joining us today if you are not familiar with Handbag Angels then here is a very brief introduction here at Handbag Angels we sell luxury organizers or liners for your favorite designer handbags we now have over 370 different sizes so our catalog is pretty big and we are adding to that all the time so if you are in need of some handbag liners then be sure to check out our website today's video is all about this handbag now this is the ever so popular the iconic longchamp lepliage original tote bag now you might be thinking why is it folded up it's actually meant to fold up like this but we'll get into all the details very very soon in today's video i want to compare the top three sizes of the original lepliage tote so that will include the small size the medium size and the large. We'll go over pricing, features of the bag, and most importantly, which is probably what most people will want to know, what fits in each of those. First of all, if you are perhaps not familiar with the Le Pliage tote, let's take a closer look at this one I've got here. This is the large size in black, and then, oh well, pretty much all of them have this dark brown handle and dark brown flap. There are different versions that then have different color handles and things, but today we are talking about the original model and the original does tend to come with this dark brown leather. Now the handbags do actually fold up like this, which is a great way to store them or even to put in your suitcase if you're perhaps traveling with them. So let's unfold them and take a closer look. Now here is the large version, fully unfolded. As you can see, the straps are a great kind of shoulder strap length. There really isn't that much to note about the actual handbags other than the fact that it has this press stud opening over the top of the zip. There's nothing to note really about the inside. It is plain apart from one small internal pocket in there and it really is just a very standard, very generic tote bag but they are so so handy for everyday use, for travel, for work. They just fit into so many different aspects of life and I think that is why, well, one of the reasons why they are so popular. They are really easy to fold away as well. You just bring the sides into the middle, make sure that the flap is at the top like that and then you just fold up the bottom and then you just need to fasten the press stud and everything is all secured. So that's a very brief overview of the handbag in general. So why are these tote bags so popular? Now I've already mentioned the fact that they are foldable really easy to travel with, really easy to store away into your wardrobe or anywhere like that. Don't take up much room whatsoever. So I just think that is really, really handy that you can literally fold it down into something this small. Reason number two, they are very, very affordable. I will go into more detail on the pricing of each handbag, but for a designer tote bag, I just don't think you can beat them on price. And if you're looking to start your designer handbag collection, this is a really good place to start because in comparison to all the other tote bags on the luxury and designer market at the minute, the price of these is really not that bad at all. I also think another reason why they're so popular is because they are so minimal. We are really seeing at the minute a decline in bold, in your face, monogram prints. And on the rise are brands like Longchamp again, or Pelen Paris, for example. We've got a Pelen bag sat here. Minimal minimalism is kind of becoming a trend and people don't want to see all these big logos. They want something subtle and something a little bit understated and I do think that is what also makes these so popular. Another reason is the material. Now they are made from nylon. Now nylon is super practical. If it gets dirty, you can wipe it. There's no risk of scratching it like there is with perhaps a really delicate leather like Chanel lambskin, for example. And the quality of leather on the handles is also very, very good. I believe this is a cowhide leather. Now I'm going to take a look at each individual size, starting with the largest. First, let's discuss the pricing. So the price of the Longchamp Lepliage Original Tote in the large size Currently retails for £110 on the English website. Being the largest of three, that is the most expensive of the standard sizes anyway. But for £110 for a designer tote bag, I really don't think you can go wrong with that. If you're looking for a tote bag that literally fits everything inside, then the large size is definitely for you. Whether you are a mum carrying all of your baby essentials on a daily basis, or perhaps you're a student with all your books, stationery and things like that, or you might just be somebody that carries an awful lot with them on a daily basis, then you definitely need to get the large size. Before we take a look at what fits inside, I do just want to show you our handbag organizer that we have designed for this bag. So here's the organizer. This one is in the color Black Knight to match the black handbag. You don't have to get something that matches. You can get a pop of color if you'd like. Totally up to you. 
and you, well, hopefully you can see that, hopefully it's not too dark with it being a black handbag liner, but this has five internal pockets, so it's a great way of organising your belongings inside your Le Fliage totes. Not only are these amazing for organisation purposes, but they will also help to improve the shape of your Le Fliage totes as well, which I will show you now. So without a handbag liner inside, you have quite a slouchy, misshapen and quite a floppy tote bag. But when you put the handbag liner inside, the shape is literally transformed. The handbag liner is now in place, so let's just zip it up and then just look at that difference. I think it looks so much better, all supported and upright. And not only that, but it's just gonna make organizing your handbag so much easier, especially when the bag itself only has one pocket. So with the handbag liner inside, let's take a look at what fits in the largest size of the Longchamp Le Fliage. Now first, I'm going to start by filling the pockets of the handbag liner. So here I have an iPhone, and then I've also got a Chanel hand cream. And then in the pockets on this side, so on the front of the handbag liner, I'm going to pop in some lip products so I've got two Chanel lip glosses and then I've also got a I think this is a Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss and then I also have a mascara so really good for holding like your little cosmetics and things like that and now onto the larger items so here I have my iPad Air as you can see there is still a little bit of room here so a larger laptop would also fit inside I just have an iPad and I use that as my laptop now this is purely for size reference and just to show you how big this bag really is I understand not many people will carry one of these on a daily basis but this is a full size toiletry bag now that also fits in there on top of my ipad and then i have my louis vuitton agenda i know a lot of people do tend to carry diaries around with them and then i have a full size chanel coco mamazelle i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna put that in this remaining pocket of the handbag liner. Then I have my Louis Vuitton long wallet. And then I also have the Louis Vuitton mini pochette, which is really ideal for just smaller items that you want to keep all together. Pop that in there. And then last but not least, I have a glasses case or a sunglasses case. And again, this is full size. And that is the large size, pretty much full. You could also get some more stuff on the top, but I just much prefer a more organized handbag and just everything looking nice and neat. But if you did want to put some belongings on the top there is definitely room so let's just sit that up just to show that it still zips up with all that inside and there we have the large size full moving on to the medium size Le Fliage. so we have ours in the color paper I believe it's called and the medium retails for £100 so it's £10 less than the large in regards to what the handbag looks like it is pretty much the same as the large except it's a little bit smaller you've still got the pretty much plain interior except for the one internal pocket and just like the large we have designed a handbag liner for the medium so this one that I have here is in the colour Whisper Pink and again it has five internal pockets and there is what that looks like inside. Now I think the medium Le Fliage is perfect if you are just looking for a standard tote bag and if you don't carry that much but you want a tote bag for the days when you carry a little bit more than usual the medium is a really good size but the medium really would tick all my boxes if I needed to maybe go shopping into Manchester for the day or something like that and I wanted to have a few extra bits than normal the medium size would be perfect for me. But if you are somebody that tends to carry it quite a lot, I would go for the large just to be safe. The medium also has the shoulder strap options. Now let's take a look at what fit. Again, I have the handbag liner already in place. This one's in the color Whisper Pink. And like the large, this one has five internal pockets. Like I did with the large, I'm gonna start by filling the pockets of the handbag liner. So again, placing a phone in the pocket and the Chanel hand cream. I'll then also pop some lip products in with the hand cream in there as well. And then I've got my iPad. So even though this is the medium size, my iPad does still fit inside. Obviously there is less room on the side. So if you have one of the smaller laptops, do check on the Longchamp website as to what the measurements are, just to check if your laptop will fit inside. Then I have my long wallet from Louis Vuitton the mini pochette accessoires, and then I have my agenda. Now already the medium size is getting quite full, whereas in the large I had a lot more space left by this point. And then the glasses case is also going to go in there. Again, I have the perfume, and then I also have a Chanel compact wallet. And that is the medium size pretty much full. But if you do just carry the standard essentials and the medium is a great size. And last but not least, let's move on to the smaller size. Now this is definitely the cuter size. Look how short the handles are. Now that is the main difference with the small one. The handles are a top handle as opposed to a shoulder strap. 
let's unfold it so you can get a better look at it. This one is in the colour Grenadine, which is like a lovely rosy neon pink. You still have the zip top opening and again, one internal pocket inside. Now I would say that the small is definitely the least popular of the three from what I've seen on social media. And just going off which handbag liners we sell the most of, we definitely sell more handbag liners for the medium and large than we do for the small. And it's priced at £95, so it's only £5 cheaper than the medium. So I think a lot of people just think, well, I may as well spend the extra £5 and get the bigger bag. But this size is definitely for the essentials only. So I'm thinking like your purse, phone, keys, a little bit of makeup, any small items like that that you carry on a daily basis, this bag is gonna be perfect for. Now I've just popped in a hot magenta handbag liner inside this one, which looks lovely against the grenadine pink. This handbag liner has three internal pockets, but it's still doing a great job of further organizing your belongings. Let's take a look at what fits in this one. Finally, onto the last one. And last but not least, the small. Now, I do want to start off by saying that my iPad does not fit in here. It is sticking out the top, and that just shows that the small is definitely not like a work bag or anything like that. You will not be able to get a laptop inside here. So I'll start off with the Louboutin mini pochette and a Chanel compact wallet. I then have a phone and again the trusty Chanel hand cream and Chanel lip glosses because does anybody really ever travel anywhere without some lip glosses? And that's the space we're working with with what we've got left. I'm going to place inside the glasses case and then I just about have room for the full size Chanel perfume and that is pretty much the small full. So the small is definitely for just the pure essentials like a few cosmetics, a phone, purse, a bunch of keys as well, which I've actually forgotten today. And it's like one of the main essentials that you'd carry in your handbag. But for an extra five pounds, you can get the medium. So you do want to consider that this really does not fit that much in in comparison to the medium, so you may as well just spend that extra five pounds. And that does conclude today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions on the Longchamp totes, please pop them in the comments. I will leave the links to our handbag organizers in the description. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you in our next YouTube video.